while at it, I thought I'm gonna put the Proculotus, Proculotus Lineatus back in the 1800 gallon. I took it out of there when I saw that it was taking advantage of rasped bullhead and was trying to suck on the wound of the wounded rasped bullhead. That's why it went into the 240 gallon. But now that uh, the bullhead problem has been solved, it can go back into the 1800 gallon. And we'll give it another try. Like all pro procula proculods, it's got special mouth for uh, grazing and uh, and uh, mouthing rocks and uh, surfaces for algae and uh, for microorganisms. It's an interesting fish that uh, almost never kept. This is a favorite prey of Dorado, Golden Dorado, Salminos species. The favorite prey is uh, this uh, Procula Proculatus lineatus. They follow the migration of lineatus often. Um, back and forth preying on this fish just an interesting tidbit he's been putting on a uh, good length looks like about uh, let's see 15 inches 16 inches fish but it's uh, rather thin because I feed the tank only once a, once a day in the 1800 I feed twice a day and a lot more food is given so I think it should go, it should do better in this tank here you are back again back from the exile you better be nice Lineatus is the cousin of the better known red fin flagtail Proculotus. That's much more showy. And the less showy are uh, yellow fin Proculotus. So they are uh, Lineatus joined the other two flagtails, red fin flagtails in there. One is much bigger, one is smaller and younger. Or so good. This is ten days later. The lineatus is doing okay. It's got a bit of a tatter at the beginning in the tail fin, and you can still see it in the anal fin as well. But I'm not worried about it because the fish proved to be assertive. I have seen it uh, chase away the flag tail, red fin, Proculotus, their relatives. So it's already a sort of dominance over the flag tail Proculotus. And it's a midwater fish, it usually hangs in, in the middle of the water column which means it's not uh, establishing territory usually bottom fish are the ones that uh, are territorial because they have boundaries they, they have their objects to judge by their territories midwater fish are usually much easier It feeds well. Every time I throw in food, it goes right for it. So I'm happy to see that. It's got specialized mouth, as I said, so it's, uh, it's always a concern whether it's getting enough pelleted feed. It's not used. Its mouth is not built to handle pellets, I guess.
Yeah, we're talking about you. So I'd say so far it's a success. I haven't seen it bother anybody else. And the chasing of the red fin flag tails is not vicious, just a little nudge, a little chase here and there. And the flag tails run away. So this is not a problem. That's our big flag tail. This one, this one is about uh, 16 inches, I'd say. And this is Procilotus lineatus. So I'd say so far so good. This is about a uh, couple of months later. The lineatus is doing okay, the striped Procilotus. It's still staying thin, but I think it's added a little bit of weight. It goes readily for the feed, but apparently it can't grab enough pallets quickly enough. To gain mass see he's driving away the uh, black ear shark out of his way as I said it's an, an assertive fish but as long as nobody's wounded I think it's rather uh, benign it just can take uh, advantage of wounded fish once in a while it seems Thank you for watching guys.